Martial Arts of Shaolin, aka Shaolin Temple 3, Martial Arts of Shaolin, is a 1986 Hong Kong martial arts film uh, starring Jet Li and filmed by the Shaw brothers again. Now, again, I didn't know that this was a sequel, and I don't know why, but apparently it's the third of the Shaolin series, starting with Shaolin Temple and Kids from Shaolin, which I will review um, eventually, but for some reason I did this one first, so suck, shut up. So anyway, what's it about? Well, Martial Arts of Shaolin stars Jet Li as, um, aka another orphan, and he starts at the Northern Shaolin Temple where he's training with his friend and the beginning is a little bit slow not much is happening a little comedy and stuff with different masters and um, things like that um, however we get a weird time skip where all of a sudden he's not at the Shaolin temple anymore and he's now donning like a disguise and stuff in a wig um, and then we meet two other characters a young girl and I don't know if he's related to her or not I think it's just like a friend or something but they're kind of like part of this rebel group and they're planning on attending this birthday festival where this, you know, the evil warlord guy is at. I think he's like a, go he's like not a governor, but I think he's like higher up magistrate or something. Um, but anyway, he's a bad guy. And of course, we got to kill him and stop him. So the rebels are planning an, an assassination during the birthday. And we get Jet Li. I don't remember his main character. It's like Zing Gua or something. Um, is also attending the festival to assassinate him as well. And you're like, well, wait, why is he there assassinating him when he's a Shaolin and you're not supposed to kill? So anyway, it's a little confusing in that regard. But we get this epic birthday party assassination attempt, which is freaking fantastic. And followed that, the three group up. They kind of uh, realize that, you know, hey, I'm here to kill him. You're here to kill him. Let's join forces. So meanwhile... They kind of come and go a little bit to different Shaolin temples. You know, they have the usual talks and random fights. And it all kind of culminates at the end. Again, something about martial art films in like the last 15 minutes. But if you get to the last 15 minutes, it is worth it. Because we have a huge, even before that actually, there was another fight. Yeah, the birthday bash assassination was a really long fight. And the ending fight was really long. So at the end, they basically... Uh, the girl gets kidnapped by the magistrate on his boat, and they have to, the other two guys and Jet Li have to go rescue him. And it culminates in this huge fight, tons of weapons, tons of action, tons of cool shots and acrobatic things and stuff. It's crazy. So let's go over the review. Um, the story was about average, I felt. Um, I had to give it a 5. It could be a 6, but again, the beginning is... Um, the beginning's kind of normal, but then when we get the time skip, which is odd, and then you find out later that he left the Shaolin Temple because he wanted to re um, avenge his parents that got murdered by the magistrate, even though we never knew about it. And then there's this whole thing with these um, footbells, where he, Jet Li was wearing these footbells around his ankle, and the girl was also wearing them, and apparently that means you're supposed to get married to each other or something later on. I don't know. So it was just kind of average. The music, also average. I had to give it a 5. Uh, not much to say about it, really. Um, it kind of had only a few tracks that kind of just played on and on. But, I mean, they like come and go. But did were they distracting? Not really. Um, the audio quality that I was viewing them on was kind of bad, but I don't blame the movie for that. Um, but otherwise, it's just kind of average. The effects, however were really good and I kind of tied into the fighting but the effects I have to give a solid eight uh, usually a seven or an eight for the effects here um, yeah there's a little bit of blood a little bit of cool weapon techniques and stuff but nothing overly done but what was there was really good so a solid eight from them and that leads me to the fighting which I was going to give an eight but the ending sequence alone I think boosted it up to a solid nine this was it just made it out to a nine because this fighting sequence, especially on Jet Li's part, and um, the rest of the Shaolin group are fantastic, especially his one master that's using, like, it looks like, you know, Mantis style and stuff. It's crazy, but why, yeah, it, it's it's something to watch. It's pretty cool. So that gives an overall score of an 8, which is, I believe that's kind of about what I was going to give it anyway, even though the story and music are kind of low. I have to maintain that it deserves an 8. And the reasons it deserves it is because Jet Li's performance is fantastic. He gets into some crazy scenarios with his disguises. The comedy is actually really funny. And the parts 
involving all the ending stuff with the giant fight scene at the end is fantastic as well. Now, would I recommend it? Yes. If you're a fan of Jet Li's early performances, especially this is an 80s film, go check it out. Um, I definitely want to see his previous films, again, The Shaolin Temple and Kids from Shaolin, and I'll definitely review them as well. But I would say it's definitely recommended, and you should definitely check it out.